Hey, Jared McDonald here with the Metabolic Reboot Program. So in this short video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how people are rebooting their metabolism and permanently losing 20 to 45 pounds in six weeks, all without exercise shakes, pills, powders, hunger, or cravings. Now you might hear that and say, man, that's a tall order. There is no way that people can lose that much weight that quickly without doing all the typical stuff like killing yourself in the gym or starving yourself. You know, that sounds too good to be true. There's got to be some sort of trick or gimmick, but there's really not. And this is the exact process that so many of our clients are using to lose 20 to 45 pounds in just six weeks. Now, here's a handful of before and after pictures from clients who've done our program. So, Roland lost 56 pounds and 34 inches in just six weeks. Kristen lost 32 pounds and 25 inches in six weeks. Dan lost 33 pounds and 29 inches in six weeks. And Barb lost 27 pounds and 25 inches in six weeks. Don lost 96 pounds and 42 inches in five months. And Bill lost 160 pounds and 72 inches overall. Now, as you can see, we have so many clients who've done this, and this is just a very, very small sampling of the hundreds and thousands of clients who've gone through our program. Now, this is the exact same process that I've personally used to actually lose the weight and keep it off permanently. So as you can see on the left side, that's a picture of me back in college. Uh, I just cropped it here so you could see. It was actually a, a picture of me and some friends. We did a Ragnar relay race. It's a it's a you know long distance relay race with 12 different people. And I used to be a runner. I I've always been an athlete, but as you can see, I was I was a little bit overweight. I was always a little bit thicker and broader growing up. Had broader shoulders, and I always you know chalked it up to just being a bigger guy or you know you know big boned or whatever it was. And I actually just realized that I was about 45 pounds overweight. And so I was able to lose that weight about five years ago, and I've kept it off since then. This picture on the right is not is just recently before I actually filmed this video. I've been able to lose the weight and keep it off. I'm actually the same weight I was as a high school uh, student, but I have a smaller waist size, a little more muscle tone. I'm actually in better shape than I ever was before, uh, even back then. Now, as you notice, there's a little white patch on my, my side there. That's actually a, a insulin pump. Uh, for diabetes. I'm a type 1 diabetic, have been since I was a kid, and um, even even with having a chronic disease, I was able to lose this weight, which typically is actually a lot harder to lose weight, um, but I've been able to lose it and actually keep it off. So it's the exact process I've personally used to be able to lose the weight and keep it off. Now, I did all of this without weighing myself every day. I don't count calories. In fact, I've never counted calories. I don't spend hours at the gym. I do zero cardio. Um, and I've never taken a shake for weight loss or even a protein shake or bar or anything like that. I've never done a weight loss pill. I've, I'm never hungry. In fact, I actually really enjoy food and I eat a lot of it. Um, and I've done all of this and kept it off with you know having treats and snacks and going out to eat and traveling. For me, it's all about creating sustainability. If you can't lose the weight and keep it off without... Um, you know, starving yourself or killing yourself in the gym or only eating, you know, chicken or broccoli all day long. It's, it's going to be really hard to do that. It's going to be really hard to sustain that. So for me, it's all about creating a life that's healthy, that I can actually sustain and enjoy and really, again, lose the weight and, and keep it off permanently. So here's what other people have tried who've, who've uh, joined my program before they've joined the program. This is, these are some of the things that they've tried and maybe you can relate to some of this. They've done different types of fad diets, whether that's keto, paleo, South Beach, Atkins, Body for Life, Whole30, and the list obviously goes on. They've tried Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig. They've just tried to watch what they eat and eat healthy. They've tried the exercise approach, you know, with CrossFit, Orange Theory Fitness, Beach Body, just going to the gym, doing cardio, and again, a whole list of other types of exercise that people try. Uh, they tried calorie restriction. They've done the low carb, Isogenics, Optavia, Bernstein's. They've hired personal trainers or nutritionists or chefs, and they've done all the, the long list of shakes, pills, powders, or prepackaged foods that are out there. And there's a whole bunch of other things that people have tried that are not on this list, uh, but they've tried so many different things. And honestly, most of them feel like they've tried everything. They've tried method after approach, after diet, after program, 
And a lot of them, you know, have been able to actually lose weight. Some of them haven't been able to, but a lot of them have actually lost weight before, but haven't been able to actually keep it off, right? They've yo-yoed, they've gone back and forth. They haven't really been able to find something that is sustainable for them long-term. Now, the result of this is that they're exhausted, right? They're, they're discouraged. They feel like they don't have willpower and self-control. They feel like they're destined to be overweight, right? It's genetics or it's in my family history. And they're, they feel honestly defeated. And a lot of people, maybe you can relate to this, have these same similar results from going through and battling the same weight for year after year. I mean, I know people who've been battling the same 20 to 30 pounds for 20 to 30 years. And it's exhausting. Now, not only with these results they've gotten, They've also have problems with the actual weight still being on them, right? It's a physical uh, impact. They might have low energy or fatigue, joint pain, a lack of mobility, right? They can't get around and do the things they want to do. Even simple things like walking up the stairs, they get winded or, you know, tying their shoes or clipping their toenails. They tell me, I've got to come up for breath in between, you know, or I can't think straight. I've got brain fog. Now, it also might be a social impact. Maybe they feel self-conscious. It's holding them back from going out. They make decisions on their life and what they're going to do for the weekend based on their weight and what they look like. They can't keep up with their kids and it might be impacting their relationships with their spouse or their partner. And they really can't do the things that they want to be able to do. Now, there's obviously the physical and the social impact, but internally there's this emotional impact that often happens as well. They're uncomfortable in their skin. They've got low confidence. They're stressed or obsessed about their weight. It's always on their mind. And they feel weak, unmotivated, and again, not having enough willpower. So there's some really big impacts that can happen on us uh, in all different aspects of our life from actually having excess weight. Now, what if there was a better way? What if there was a way that you could actually get healthy, burn fat, and keep it off permanently? And there is, I call this way the metabolic reboot. Obviously that's what this video is about. It's like hitting the reboot button on your metabolism so that you can actually burn fat quickly and effortlessly and keep it off permanently. Now to truly understand how the metabolic reboot program works, we have to understand the cause of weight gain. We have to understand why we gain weight in the first place. And by understanding the cause and the why we gain weight, we're gonna be able to understand why most approaches actually fail and why you haven't been able to actually see success yet in losing the weight and keeping it off permanently. Now it really comes down to three things. So let's break this down. The first is your metabolism, the second are your hormones, and third are toxins. And it really actually comes down to stress. And when we're stressed, what signals our brain is sending to our hormones and metabolism and how our body's dealing with the toxins that actually make us gain weight. So most people are familiar with the fight or flight response, right? Let's say a tiger jumps out at you in the woods and you've got to make some decisions now. Your brain goes into this fight or flight mode and it's got to optimize your ability to survive. So it goes into survival mode. And what one of the things it does is it starts to store energy. The reason why it stores this energy is so that you can actually get away. It doesn't know how long it's going to take to get away from this tiger, but it knows that it needs energy in order to be able to do that. And so it continues to store this energy. And so what it does is it slows the metabolism down. And as it slows the metabolism down, it starts to store energy. And this energy gets locked down. It will not use, our body will not use this energy until the tiger's gone. It doesn't know how long that's gonna take, but it locks it down. It says, there's no way I'm using this because it's going to help me survive in this situation. Once the tiger's gone, then it can release all the energy, use it up as fuel, and we'll be on our merry way. But until then, it's gonna lock it down, not release that. Now, where all this energy gets stored is right in your midsection, your belly, your butt, and your thighs, right? All of our belly fat. And then it starts accumulating on our back and our arms and our neck, and men and women kind of hold it differently. But again, it's all this midsection fat. Now, the next thing that comes into play are your stress hormones. And specifically, one of those hormones is called cortisol. Cortisol is controlled by the HPA axis. That's your hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis. It's your hypothalamus, which is a part of your brain that controls things like satiety and hunger and thirst and temperature regulation, reproduction. It's a really critical part of the brain that sends signals down the line to your adrenals 
and your adrenal system to be able to actually control hormones. Now, cortisol is super important when we're stressed. Cortisol's job is to take sugar in the blood and send it to the brain so that the brain can figure out how am I supposed to get away from this tiger? And again, to optimize survival. But the problem with that is that spikes our blood sugar and high blood sugar is obviously very bad. It contributes to all sorts of other problems. So what happens is as cortisol goes up and spikes blood sugar, insulin has to kick in. Insulin's job is to now bring the sugar back down and put it back into our cells. And insulin and cortisol are always kind of on this teeter-totter of blood sugar, always trying to balance each other out. Now as cortisol goes up and spikes blood sugar, insulin kicks in, brings blood sugar back down, and there's always this kind of balancing act going on. Now the more that this process happens, we have this sugar now in our body. And, and we, again, are trying to store, but our body can't store sugar. So what it does is it converts it. And it converts it into what's called abnormal fat. This again is your midsection fat your belly, your butt, your thighs, and then it accumulates everywhere else. So the more that this happens, the more fat that we store, and then our body starts to do a couple of other things. Cortisol and insulin, just so you have an awareness of what's happening, they're oxidative, meaning they're toxic for the body. So it causes all sorts of problems. Now the more that our blood sugar spikes and the more insulin that's produced, we become insulin resistant, which leads to things like type two diabetes. Now also cortisol is inflammatory. It causes inflammation, which has been linked to pretty much every chronic disease out there from cancer to diabetes to heart disease, autoimmune disease. Inflammation is generally involved with these diseases. So the more cortisol that's produced, the more inflammation that's produced. And when inflammation is produced, it actually triggers your body to produce more cortisol. So there's kind of this pattern that happens or the cycle with cortisol and inflammation as well. So again, it's a really, really terrible process for our body and wreaks a lot of havoc, but it also makes us store abnormal fat stores in our midsection, the belly, butt, and thighs, all that stubborn belly fat. Now the problem with this is that we don't actually have tigers in our life. And, and obviously that's a good thing. We don't really wanna be chased by a real tiger. But we have chronic stress. Our tigers never go away. We've got family and kids and our job and our work and we have finances and bills we have to pay. Food causes stress on our body. Water causes, can cause stress on our body. The air we breathe, even driving down the freeway, right, causes stress on our body. We have all these things that cause chronic stress. And it's like our brain never really gets the opportunity to say, man, the tiger's gone. I can now start burning fat rather than continuing to store it. So here's why most approaches fail. Most approaches take this calories in, calories out approach. So they say, we have to be in a calorie deficit to burn fat. That's pretty common knowledge, which is true. So what they do is they start to restrict calories. They pull back. They say, let's cut the starches. Let's cut the carbs, the sugars, the fats, whatever it is, to reduce the amount of calories coming in so that we can actually get into a deficit. Now, there's so many different ways to do this, right? Protein shakes and prepackaged meals and you know all the, the prepackaged foods that say, hey, this is the amount of calories you're going to get per day or counting points or actually counting calories or you know whatever food can fit in certain containers, right? There's so many different ways that say we need to restrict calories. Or the other approach they take is let's burn more in the gym, right? There's all sorts of ways we do this. We run, we hit the gym, we do weightlifting, cycling, CrossFit, all sorts of exercise to burn more fat, right? Calories in, calories out. And what most people end up doing is they do both effects. They combine it. They say, if I can burn more in the gym and restrict my calories, watch what I'm eating, I get this compound effect so I can actually burn more fat, right? Wrong. Dead wrong. It couldn't be more wrong about burning belly fat. Here's why. There's a difference between losing weight versus releasing fat. Okay, Losing weight is about starving ourselves or killing ourselves in the gym. It's about trying to make our body lose weight by going into this calorie deficit. And it's essentially forcing our body to do something that it's not comfortable with. If your brain doesn't feel comfortable letting go or releasing fat stores because it's in this stress mode, you're going to lose the weight and you're, you're going to find it again. Losing weight equals finding it again. Versus releasing weight, it's where your brain feels comfortable letting go of the weight. It feels like it's able to go from this fat storing mode to the fat burning mode. So we don't want to lose weight, we want to release it. 
Now, your brain really also doesn't understand the difference between dieting and actually starving. So you think you're doing something good by cutting out calories. You know, I'm gonna lose some weight by doing this, but your brain just thinks you're actually starving. There's a famine, there's not enough food. So what does it do? It slows the metabolism down even more, trying to help you survive, right? It's gotta store energy if there's not enough food around because we need enough energy to keep us alive until there is food. Now your brain also doesn't understand the difference between your exercise that you're doing and running from the tiger, right? So we think we're doing great by burning more calories in the gym, but our brain thinks that we're actually running from the tiger, and this was me. You know, you see the same people doing the same exercise or on the same treadmill day after day, year after year, never seeing any change. Now they might get stronger, they might feel better, they might get in better shape and get faster and get some muscle tone, but getting rid of that belly fat never really actually happens, or they might, and then they gain that weight. As soon as they stop exercising, it comes right back on and you continually perpetuate this problem of stress response and you know with your hormones, your metabolism that actually cause weight gain. Again, making that weight and that fat storage right in your mix, midsection be locked down, never releasing the fat. Now, those are the first two reasons. Let's talk about toxins and this third reason why we actually gain weight in the first place. We're exposed to toxins everywhere. The air we breathe, the water we drink, the foods we eat, our soaps and shampoos and cleaners, all of these things have toxins in them. We're exposed to them. And these toxins start to pile up in our body over time and they accumulate and our body has to do something with them. So they store them. And where does it store them? In fat cells. Fat cells' primary purpose is to store toxins, not just energy. We've talked about that, obviously, but its primary purpose is to store is to store those toxins to keep us safe. So if we're trying to lose weight and not get rid of toxins at the same time, it's gonna be a very difficult process or we're gonna lose it and our body's gotta put those toxins back somewhere and we're gonna gain it back. So all of these three things, the metabolism, the hormones, and toxins, essentially make up what's called a set point for your body. And a set point in reference to our weight essentially is where our body feels comfortable maintaining weight based on the signals that our brain is sending because of our you know, stress and hormones and metabolism and toxins. So with all of this happening, our body says, hey, this is where I feel comfortable and I'm not gonna lose weight past this point. Now that might be, you know, someone's trying to lose weight and they never can. Uh, they might actually be gaining weight. Some people might lose the weight and then they gain it back. It's because the brain never felt comfortable letting go and releasing that weight. And so they end up gaining it back. And a lot of times they end up gaining back more of the weight than they gained, than they lost in the first place. Now, the question is then, is can we fix this, right? Can we get the brain releasing fat? Can we get it to let it go so it feels comfortable releasing that fat stores? And obviously the answer is yes, a resounding yes. So the question then is, how do we do this? Well, in order to do this so that your body can burn fat quickly, reboot your metabolism, keep it off permanently, detox the body, your body needs the right tools. It needs the right nutrients, right? Vitamins, the right minerals to allow it to again, burn fat, keep it off permanently, and really help your body thrive and get healthy. Now, again, our goal is to achieve permanent weight release, not just weight loss. We want to release the weight. And the only way to do that is by giving your body the right tools, so nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. So it has the opportunity to then say, ah, oh, the tiger's gone. I can actually go from fat storing to fat burning. Now, here's what we do to actually do this. Here's our approach. In the Metabolic Reboot Program, we take a comprehensive approach to helping your body get healthy. Weight gain is a sign that your body is not working the right way. It's a sign of dysfunction in the body. It's right, it comes from that stress. So the first thing we do starting at the top is we nourish the body. We wanna give it the right nutrients, right? So we're gonna use real food and help you understand what to eat to actually nourish your body so that it can thrive, you can have energy, you can feel alive, your skin can be healthy, you can sleep better, right? We also wanna balance those hormones, right? Balance blood sugars. So we're gonna focus on foods that are gonna help us do that. We also need to detox the body. We're gonna help your body get rid of all that, those toxins, clean things up so you can really feel well and get rid of those uh, toxins and those fat cells. Now we're gonna obviously coach you on how to do this. We've got 
uh, an incredibly uh, robust coaching system that allows you to know exactly what to do in the program and helps, you know, obviously uh, coach you through the entire process. And, and in our coaching, we're going to help you develop healthy habits and a lifestyle that actually is sustainable for you. That's going to help you develop the habits you need to sustain this long term. Now, all, all along the way, we're going to keep you accountable. We're going to help you stick to the program. That's our job is to help you stick right to the program so you can see these results. And as you get the results, we're then going to celebrate together. It's important to be grateful. It's important to celebrate. All of these things help us stick to the plan and be able to get the results we need to. And again, that support comes in. We're going to support you every step of the way throughout this entire process. And one of the other things we also incorporate is fasting. Fasting is an incredible way to be able to rejuvenate your cells, clean the body up, burn fat, and really help our body again, function the right way that it needs to. And one of the other things that we do is we focus on mindset. We want to truly master our minds because there's a lot of beliefs that limit us. They hold us back. They keep us from achieving our goals. We have a lot of tendencies and habits and things that we have developed over time, including unhealthy relationships with our body and food that we need to be able to break through. So we're going to help you master your mindset. Now, we also have a robust community. It's a community where everybody's focused in on the same thing. They're all achieving and working together to help get these results. And so we support each other. Community is so important in having that support and that community to not only help you achieve your goals, but make it more fun. Now, the last component to our program in the Metabolic Reboot is education. We want to make sure that we empower you. Our, my job and my mission is to allow you to know exactly what to do and to help empower you so that you can lose the weight and keep it off permanently. So that's where our education component comes into play. Now, as you can see, this is a very robust system that we use to reboot your metabolism so we can get you losing that weight, keeping it off permanently. And this is the breakdown of how the, all the things that the program includes. Now let's actually look at the time frame and the timeline of our program. So we have a couple of different phases. We first start with the losing phase. It's a six week portion of our program that you typically lose 20 to 45 pounds. That's pretty standard for everybody. That's pretty much guaranteed you're gonna lose that. Uh, there are people who don't, but those are generally people who don't follow the program. So anybody who follows the program is gonna lose 20 to 45 pounds. I've even seen people lose 50, 60, 70, 80 pounds in a six week period. Now after the six weeks, we move into what's called the locking phase or the maintenance phase. This is five weeks long, and this is where we establish that new set point for your body. So after you've lost you know, 20, 30, 40 pounds, whatever it is that you're gonna lose during that six weeks, we want your body to feel comfortable maintaining the weight. So that's where we create the new set point during the locking phase. So as you can see, this is an 11 week process, about three months that we're gonna walk you through losing the weight and creating a new set point so you can actually feel comfortable maintaining the weight. Now, some of you may be looking at this going, okay, well, what if I have more than 20 to 45 pounds to lose, or I don't lose it all in the first round? Well, that's the beautiful thing about our program and what's so unique and different about it is that we're gonna actually help you get to your ideal weight in a very easy, effortless, and fast way. So most programs out there, they have you go on and they you know, start losing weight, and after you know, a couple of weeks, couple of months, you start to plateau. And that's because your body gets used to what you're doing and doesn't really have the opportunity to ever feel comfortable where you're at now. And so what we do on our program that's so different is we have you lose the weight and then go into our locking phase to lock that in. Now, if you want to lose some more weight, all we do is we start you back into the losing phase again, and you can lose another 20 to 45 pounds every six weeks on the program. And it's simply because we help your body lock in that new set point. So every six weeks you do on the program, you're down 20 to 45 pounds until you're at your actual ideal weight. So that's the time frame of our program. So let's actually look at what's included with our program. The first thing that we do is we start with a health discovery call. In this call is where we figure out where you're at, what's holding you back, what your goals are, and help you come up with a clear plan to be able to achieve that. Now, all of this program is done remotely, so we can actually do this anywhere across the world, and we send you our reboot instruction manual. This has all the guidelines to follow, frequently asked questions, the exact process that we use, 
the eating program, everything that we do in the program to help you be successful. Now we also have a reboot recipe book and an online recipe generator. So whether you have the book with you at home or you're on the go or you're traveling, whatever it is, you're at home, you can get online as well and look up recipes. And all the recipes in our book um, and our generator are super simple. They're like 10 to 20 minute prep time, totally kid friendly if you've got kids, and you really can make it the way you want to and flavor it up, obviously following our guidelines, to be able to make it taste good and sustainable for you. Now, we also have an online daily tracker. This is where we have you track your progress every single day so that we can see what's happening so that we can make adjustments and tweaks and changes and again, celebrate your success. Typically, we see about seven to 10 pounds of fat loss in the first week alone. So we wanna celebrate those things, right? We wanna celebrate all of the changes that you're making in your life as well as make sure that you're continuing to get the results and sticking to the program, right? That's how we can help support you and keep you accountable all along the way. Now, we also have accountability calls along with this. So with your tracker, we're gonna be able to see what's happening, and then usually on a weekly basis, we're gonna to touch base on a scheduled call to make sure that everything's going well, we can answer your questions, celebrate with you, support you, and we also talk about health. How do we achieve optimal health so that we can lose the weight and keep it off permanently? So with this, we also have unlimited email and messaging. So my clients can get a hold of me pretty much any time of the day. They can send me as many messages as they want at any time that they want. So really you have 24 seven access to us through our messaging and email. Now, we also use a metabolic support supplement. This supplement helps give your brain the nutrients it needs to send the right signals to your metabolism so that it can work properly and help get your body functioning. It's not a stimulant, it's not something that makes you burn fat faster or anything like that. It's the precursors your brain needs, specifically your hypothalamus, to start sending the right signals. It's really just the tools or the nutrients that your brain needs to be able to do that. And with our program, we also have our private Facebook community. Again, this is where we everybody's in there sharing their recipes, what they're doing, asking questions, sharing their struggles and their victories. We do question and answer periods. We have a great community that again, helps us all achieve the goal together and makes it a little bit more fun. Now, we also send you daily health tips and support throughout the entire program. And we, have, and we give you lifetime access to our online education portal. This education portal is critical. It's not only gonna help you understand how to get the most out of the program, we put together videos, trainings, handouts, resources, to be able to optimize your success on the program, but also to know how to do this long term and to really make it fun and sustainable for you. So let's say you're going out to eat with your, you know, your spouse or your partner or girlfriend or boyfriend, or you're having a movie night with your family and your kids, and you guys want to have some treats, you want to have some snacks, or you want to be able to go out for dinner or something like that, right? How do we do that? How do we do it in a way that's not going to compromise our health or our weight and be able to help us actually maintain it. Because so many people get off and they're like, ah, it's over, I, I can't, you know, I, it's the end of, end of my program, I can't get back on it. And it's really not about that. It's about creating sustainability and that's where our education portal comes in and you'll have lifetime access to those resources. Now we also, again, focus on mindset mastery. This is where we're gonna help you break through any uh, habits, tendencies, uh, really find those beliefs that are limiting you and create the vision for your life that you want, not just with your health and weight, but in all areas and help you really achieve who you want to become and help you get back to where you were at when you were at the weight you wanted to or really become the person that you want to become. Now, who is this program actually for? It's really for people who've tried everything to lose weight and they're ready for real results. It's for people who are tired of yo-yoing, fads, powders, starving, and killing themselves in the gym. And it's for those people who are committed to getting healthy and improving their lives and for people who want permanent change. And who this is not for, this is not for people who want the next weight loss quick fix or for people who make excuses and complain. And it's not for people who are stuck in the information gathering mode and just wanna know more and learn more. And it's not for people who are not serious about taking control of their health and losing weight permanently. So if this sounds like you, if it sounds like this is a good fit for you and you'd be successful in the program, well, here's the next step. We want you to schedule a one-on-one -on -one health discovery call. That's where everything gets started. This call happens with you and me, and we usually spend about 30 to 45 minutes, and on this call, we're gonna get crystal clear on what's holding you back and how to get the results you want in the fastest time possible. So. 
there's always a little warning here with time in two aspects. Now, I don't always do these calls. If my schedule fills up, I can't do any more calls. So that's why time is a factor. Now, the other thing that time is a factor is for you, right? You'll always make the excuse that there's ne that's never a good time to do a program, to lose weight, to take control of your health, right? Maybe it's waiting for the holidays. Well, the holidays are going to, or after the holidays, right? New Year's is going to roll around and you're going to get on the program and you might, you know, start failing at whatever you're trying to do. And so you're like, oh, I'll just start back up maybe in the spring or summer. Then summer rolls around, you get busy, vacations happen. You're like, I'll start when school happens. Well, school gets busy. Kids got all sorts of things going on like sports. And then again, it's the holidays and you find yourself year after year battling the same weight never finding a good time to do it. So now is the time. There's no better time to start than right now. So go below right now and click to apply to see if you qualify. It's gonna take you to a calendar that you'll be able to pick a time that works for you to schedule your call with me. Now, after you schedule your call, it's gonna take you to an application form. This form is incredibly important for me to have before our call so that I can know how to optimize our time best on our call and make sure that it's a good fit. I don't always accept everybody. I wanna make sure that you're a good fit for my program and that the program's actually a good fit for you as well. So make sure in addition to scheduling your time, you also fill out the application form. So again, go below right now, click to see if you qualify, and I look forward to helping you reboot your metabolism, lose the weight, get on the path to keeping it off permanently, and truly taking control of your health once and for all.